right guys, today we're gonna show you smart mode, stability mode, and agility mode on the 350QX. Right now, as you can see, indicated by the green light, the 350QX is in smart mode. This is gonna feature stick relativity, the safe circle, and GPS and altitude lock. We'll go ahead and show you GPS and altitude lock right now. Let's go out here a little bit. And I'm gonna let go of the controls, and it's gonna lock in right there. It'll keep itself in position with GPS and position using barometric pressure sensors and GPS sensors. Up next, we'll show you stick relativity. This is basically a mode that you do not need to know how to fly. The orientation of the model doesn't matter. If I go full left and push forward on my cyclic stick, it's always going to go away from me. If I pull back, it's always going to come towards me. If I stop and go nose in and I push away from me, it's still going to go away from me. Even if I yaw continuously, it will go in and out, straight as an arrow. All right, the next feature we're gonna show you is the safe circle. This places a GPS barrier around the pilot in about a 30 foot diameter. I'll go ahead and show you how we do this. If I hold full back elevator, the 350QX pauses right at the edge of the safe circle and won't fly into the pilot. I'm still holding back elevator and it's maintaining position away from me. We'll go ahead and show you the exact safe circle by holding back into the right, it's gonna rotate around me perfectly by a 30 foot diameter. There it goes. I'm still holding back elevator at this point and it's rotating around me in the safe circle. And right back to the front where it was. The next mode is gonna be stability mode. It's indicated by the blue LED and when you provide a stick input, it will lock into a bank angle, but it won't roll over on itself and become upside down. If we give a full right aileron command such as this, it will lock in. If I give a full left aileron command, it will lock into that angle. And I can pause it whenever I want. If I let go of the stick at any time, it comes back to center and level flight. Let go of the stick, input, let go, input, let go. The next cool feature about stability mode is that it does have GPS hold. It does not have altitude hold as the pressure sensors are turned off. When I let go of the sticks, the 350QX will find satellites and lock into the desired GPS coordinate. It's basically flying in a GPS column because I have to control the throttle. I can go down and I can punch the throttle and go straight up, but it will remain on that GPS point as long as I tell it to. If I give any cyclic command, it will move and let go and it will lock into that GPS point and now I'm flying in that GPS column. This is great for filming if you want to be controlling the altitude, but don't need to worry about cyclic. The final mode we're going to show you is agility mode. We'll go ahead and flip into that right now. It's indicated by a red LED. This mode gives you full envelope you can fly loops, rolls, and do aggressive aerobatics, and it's a lot of fun. The 350QX is extremely crisp and precise in this mode. It's great for the advanced flyer, too. All right guys, we're gonna show you the 350QX return home mode. It's good. We're gonna take off and fly pretty much out of sight. Flip it into return to home, and it should come back and land right where we took off from. In return to home, it will climb to an altitude of about 60 feet, and it will return home and descend back to its home position where the motors started.